you know, we even talked about it after the game. We're, we're not satisfied, nor should we be. It's, you know, early in the season. It's great that we can get those wins, get off to the right start. That was a point of emphasis for us starting uh, back in September and in the training camp preseason. So it's good that we've done that, but we still have a ton of work to do. So uh, we take the wins. It's okay to win ugly, but, you know, it's, uh, we can't afford to be satisfied. So, so many injuries, uh, three starters technically, and you guys beat a really good team. What did it take to get that done? You know what? No, both teams are on a back to back. So, you know, probably not playing at our peak, but, you know, that's the schedule. And, uh, you know, we talked about it last night. We talked about it before. The resilience of this group is, you know, is, is something. Uh, there's something to it. Uh, our depth has, has played well for us. Um, and those, those two areas have been crucial because these spells, these injuries, um, they're, not, they're not unique to just us. Every team at some point throughout an 82 game season is going to have to deal with it. So it's how you respond, how the next person, next man steps up. That's, uh, that's just our mentality. How important was it uh, rebounding? That's a really good rebounding team. You're yeah. missing your centers and then also limiting turnovers. No, it's huge. I think we had four guys with, you know, eight plus rebounds, which is uh, evenly distribu distributed. Um, but it was a point of emphasis going in. We, we know that was one of their strengths. Uh, we were able at least to take that away. Um, so it's, it's good to see that our smalls got involved, got in the mix, and took some pressure off uh, Montrez. <laughs> You said last night the dam was going to break with Beal. I think that might have been the, the right metaphor, given how he played. I hope. <laughs> um, <Say it> again. <laughs> the, the dunks in the fourth quarter yeah. in particular, what does that do when you guys, you, you know, you're trying yeah. to stop a run late? But no, those are big plays. You know, it's not just for us, but the, gets the building going. Mm -hmm. And then we feed off that. Uh, so just to see him be explosive, get downhill, you know, those guys have played a lot of minutes. And the fact that he still had you know, enough in the tank to make a play like that is huge. These guys, I mean, Brad's the only one who's been around that long enough that he experienced a four and one start with this mm -hmm. team. How is everybody else? How's the locker room responding to the start so far? I think we, you know, for a lot of guys who haven't been here, it's like, well, we, we should be, <laughs> you know, and that's, it's great. There, there's that air of confidence. It's not, it's not arrogance, but uh, um, we put in a lot of time, a lot of work and we have a ton of work to do. So it's good to be in a position we're in the fact that we've, we've started the way we have, but we're, we're not done. West the other night in, in Brooklyn, the ball stuck. The last two nights, it has not. It's moved a lot better. To see not only the ball movement, but the reinforcement with guys making shots, how does that kind of allow you to teach sure, freely? Validates. Yeah, I mean, you know, the, the other side of that is we didn't turn it over. Nine turnovers, I believe, for 10 points, we had 26 assists. That's a pretty good, you know, split. Uh, it, we're at our best when that ball is moving, and it's – you know, Brad has a unique gift. You know, Spencer showed it the other night, the ability to play off the bounce and attack one-on-one, -on -one, but you can't live that way. I think it's a, it, it's a really difficult way to try and score every possession when nine guys are looking at you. So mm -hmm. that was kind of the message coming out of that Brooklyn game, and we've seen carryover. We've gotten better. Um, that defense wasn't unique. We're going to see it again. Mm -hmm. We just got to fight the temptation to fall into that. KCP continues to kind of be like a – ultimate glue guy, but what, what did you like in particular about him tonight? His aggressiveness. And it wasn't, you know, he wasn't hunting shots, but mm -hmm. he took the shots that were open. And, you know, he's, he stepped up with confidence. And those are shots he practices, <laughs> shots that we, you know, we all anticipate, anticipate that he'll make. And he knocked them down. Wes, they only had 14 free throw attempts tonight. Uh, three of them came on that Beal foul. Uh, what did you like in particular about your defensive effort and keeping them off the line? It, it goes hand in hand. I mean, there's, you got to defend with purpose. And you got to understand who you're guarding. Um, you know, guys who get to the line quite a bit, uh, those are momentum plays. You know, it stops the clock. It allows them three points. And now you're playing against their set defense. So being able to defend at a high level, do so without fouling, is, is big. What did you think of the free throw? Well, uh, you know, that was a point of emphasis to say, uh, you know what, give them as many paint points as possible. And take away the three, <laughs> but yeah, they missed some shots that they probably ordinarily would make. Um, overall, I thought we did a decent job um, getting to those shooters. There was a sense of urgency. Um, we gave up 68 points in the paint, so um, you know that's not ideal. That's, you know, most nights not a not a winning proposition. But being able to defend the three point line as we did uh, was big because we know that's a volume uh, and very efficient three point shooting team. 
six for 17 for Trey Young. Um, how much of that was him just missing shots? And, or was it like, did you like the way you guys defended him? A little bit of both. You know, I thought Aaron, you know, he picked the spots. How we picked the spots. We were doing quite a bit of switching and for the most part kept him in front. Uh, where he hurt us, you know, was predominantly picking rolls. You know, him, Collins combination was, was lethal. Uh, but overall, yeah, he probably, you know, would make more of those had he not been a back-to-back, I don't know. But overall, I thought we did a decent job on it. Neil. Coach, with four minutes to go, John Collins had the alley-oop dunk, cut it to five. What was the message in the timeout that you called? Don't panic. You know, just recenter ourselves, get back to playing the way we want to play. Um, let's get our defense back into it. You know, we were kind of coasting, and it's kind of been a thing with you know those teams are going to go on a run. You know, with that much time left in the game, they're not quitting. Um, so it was good to see us, you know, once again, show resiliency, push back, um, and, you know, take, take extend that lead a little further. And for Brad and Montrez, it seems like both ways, they have a lot of good chemistry on the offensive end right now. Is that at all surprising, given that, you know, they've only been together for, you know, two-ish months? No, not at all. Not at all. I mean, both of them have been around. Both of them understand their strengths. Um, so I think it's, 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 it's easy. Uh, we saw that early in camp for the, you know, anyone in Trez, and, and, you know, Spencer and Trez. Um, and I think when you have a guy like Brad who can get downhill, create his own shot and, and make plays off the bounce for others, it's going to garner so much attention that opens up the role. It opens up, you know, opportunities at the rim uh, for, you know, a guy like Gaff, a guy like uh, Trez. Thanks, Coach. Last question to Wayne. Hey, Coach, you have four players with 20-plus points off to a great 4-1 start. Can you tell me, uh, tell me some of the positives that stuck out to you in this game tonight? You know what? The second night of a back-to-back, um, we're, we were down a couple guys. Um, the fact that we didn't quit, you know, I, I think it's easy to, when the team makes those runs, to start to panic a little bit. Um, and we were not perfect, but uh, the fact that we were able to center ourselves, get back to playing the way we wanted to play, uh, and make plays late. You know, so it's, it's, it's a credit to our guys, you know, once again, the showing that resilience, that fight, uh, you know, and our depth is, is allowed us to play that way. Um, you guys are missing three starters, um, other players that are important, and you just beat a really good team. How'd you guys pull that off? Um, I think we just, um, you know, we just scrapped it out. Um, obviously, having a lot of guys out, but to be honest, we didn't even think too much about it. Uh, you know, we have a team where, um, we have we have a, we have a bunch of serviceable players, and um, I think that's one of the best compliments you can have for you know collectively to have a team is to win. You have a couple guys out, starters or even bench players, and you can fill guys in. Um, that's not going to have that much of a, a big drop off. And you know, credit to our guys, um, everybody stepped up, next man up mentality. And, you know, that's what good teams do. You know, they always find a way and um, the other players always rise to the occasion. And um, we, we did a hell of a job tonight. This is the type of win that would generally reflect really well on a head coach. Um, what, what have you noticed so far from Wes Unsell Jr. and, and how he prepared you guys for tonight? Uh, he calls a play every time down the court. That's one thing. But, uh, <laughs> Nah, Wes is my guy. I like him. Um, nah, he's just a, he's a player's coach. He lets us uh, rock out, rock out out there. You know, as long as you're playing defense, doing the right things, um, you know, you got you got a lot of freedom out there. So um, he's done a great job of you know obviously being a first year coach in this uh, in this league, and um, you know he's doing a great job with his ball club. So. Um, when, when I say service was uh, everybody, you know, can come in and play, play the game of basketball. Um, you know, it's not like you're on, um, like a losing team and you have some guys out and you're putting in two way players or, you know, guys that haven't necessarily played, you know, and, and we have guys that have, you know, played you know, a good amount of minutes in this league, even though we're a young team, um, to come in and, uh, impact the game, uh, the right way. So. I mean, you, 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 at the end of, at the end of the day, you got to go just get the ball for sure. But at the same time, it's a lot of technique to it. 
you're playing a team like the Hawks, um, and they have two great bigs that are great um, rebounders. The game before us, um, they played New Orleans, and they had 12 rebounds between the two of those guys offensively. So that just tells you how great they are. But we did a great job of uh, boxing out. Um, you know, we were up in the pick and roll, so that low man had to crack and hit Capella a lot tonight, and that was there for us, and that was huge. Um, and everybody got in a rebound. You know, I think I had eight, Kenny had eight, Brad had about, you know, seven, eight, Trez, 13. So, um, you know, collectively, we got it done. Steve, I know uh, you know, you how important is it to get your team to realize that four and one is nothing? Really, I mean, it's it's a good start, but you can't start celebrating. Yeah, I mean, it's a good start, but it, in all reality, it really doesn't mean anything. You know, you can start out four and one, five and one, and you know, you see teams all the time start out hot and then they just uh, you know fall to the ground. Um, I always like to say, you know, Jason Kidd taught me this, and it's simple. You know, uh, the regular season is uh, just rehearsal for the big dance, which is the playoffs. So, um, you know, I don't think we're excited about being four and one. Um, you know, I think that we all understand that we have a lot of room to improve, and it's still going to take time. But, um, you know, you always want to appreciate the battles that you do win because it's hard to win in this in this league. And, um, you know, we're just doing a great job of just putting the, the pieces to the puzzle together and uh, figuring some things out. You guys uh, only had nine turnovers, and one of them was you just courtesy dribbling out the clock. Uh, what would you guys do to limit the giveaways tonight? Uh, we Man, we just did a great job of just not turning the ball over. Uh, I think uh, the one thing that really stands out um, you know, I feel like when you have high turnover games, it's it's because you're not aggressive. And I think tonight everyone was aggressive and really, really decisive. You know, you either shot the ball or you drove, you tried to um, score it. And, you know, that eliminates a lot of turnovers. You know, you have the high turnover games when you're sloppy with the ball, you're indecisive, and you don't necessarily know what you want to do with the ball. So I think we just did a great job of, um, you know, just being aggressive and decisive. Yeah. Hey, Kuz, you played 40 minutes. A lot of some of those minutes, you know, against centers, things like that. How were you able to just, you know, keep your conditioning and keep going? I mean, I, I train really hard in the offseason. Um, you know, I make it an emphasis. You know, I'm in the weight room every day. Um, you know, I, I run a lot during the off season just to make sure, um, you know, I'm in shape for the season. And, um, I think you had another part to that is, uh, oh, Going, five. Um, yep. Yeah, I mean, um, you know, in college I played, you know, I, I was really, I played like a big in college. You know, I was a, a four, played some five, pick and roll, guarded fives. And, um, you know, my college coach, uh, Larry Kostowiak, uh, he really imp in, uh, implemented that into my game. Um, even though that's not, you know, who necessarily I am, but, um, you know, looking back, it's done a great job for me in my career because um, I'm able to play multiple positions and, um, you know, it's a difference. Um, you know, anybody can just, you know, you plug and play somebody into a position, but you have to really understand that and know how to, you know, be a big or play um, that type of way. So, um, yeah, I've just been blessed um, to learn the game of basketball from a lot of great people. Thanks, Thanks Kuz. Out, so. Appreciate it. Josh? Kyle, individually, what are you pleased with in terms of how you've played and what are some of the areas uh, that you personally are, are just looking to, to improve and ramp up? Um, you know, I, every night I just try to come out and uh, just try to be um, a defensive anchor for us, you know, just talking every night, um, being on the court, making sure um, one, I'm available for my teammates, and two, um, you know, I'm able to direct traffic out there and just, you know, help everybody out. You know, I, I've been around a lot of great players, a lot of great teams, um, you know, from a defensive standpoint. So, um, you know, I'm definitely excited about that. But, you know, outside of that, just continue to get better, um, you know.
try to get better. So. Thank you. Yeah. Last question to Wayne. Hey, Kuz, um, four guys, 20 plus points, starting off four and one. Can you talk about some of the positives you noticed in the first five games and tonight? I think um, I think the number one thing that stands out is uh, we have a resilient group. We got a lot of guys with high character. Um, you know, I think we can we can all individually hold each other accountable. Um, you know, whether it's you know me saying something to Brad, uh, there's no issues. If he's saying something to Denny or vice versa, you know, nobody's really taking it personal because um, you know when you bring a guys a group of guys together um, for a ball club and you want to win, then you understand. Um, you can't take things personal. And uh, I think that that's the number one thing that I really enjoy because uh, it's important. It's important dynamic to the sport, uh, important for winning. And, uh, you know, I'm happy with uh, that, that. That's the biggest thing I'm happy with for sure. First of all, how are you feeling after that fall? We saw you go to the locker room for a second there. I'm cool. Um, it's more so just like one of those moments where you can hit and try to like put everything together. So it's more so when my heart was racing and, you know, little spur and then hit, you know, just kind of just trying to process everything. But I was fine. Once we back to the concussion protocol test, I knew everything that happened in the situation. So I'm perfectly fine. More so I just busted my lip. That's the most thing that was trying to uh, stop the bleeding. And um, we, we heard your message to the fans right after the game. It, it seems like you're already a fan favorite. Fans really love you around here. Um, just what, what can you say about the reception you've gotten from so early? Uh, man, it's a blessing, man, honestly. Um, we, I've been in this game for a, a good amount of time. I've been in places where, you know, the fans have, you know, fell in love with the way I play and stuff like that. But, um, you know, the way that the energy is in the building, um, night in and night out, and the guys, and, you know, not even just the fans, you know, my teammates feed off of it as well, man. So. Um, it's just a great feeling, man, just to be able to be out there on the floor and enjoying myself playing the game of basketball with no worries and just, you know, being utilized for my talents and the things I bring to the floor and, you know, seeing the appreciation from the fans. Uh, I don't think nothing flipped, man. We just trying to put together, you know, great days, good days each day, man. Just not trying to lose a day. That's all it's about, honestly. Uh, each day we're going to practice, film, shoot around, whatever we're doing, team oriented, man. We're just trying to make sure that we're coming out with something positive, that we're getting something away from it. Because we know it's going to be a long season. Um, it's going to be, you know, a time where we don't have time to practice and, you know, we can't incorporate something to the actual drill or something that we got to pick it up on the fly, man. We're just trying to make sure that we take each day one step at a time and make sure that we get good and put together good and great days behind each other. Simple as that, man. And, you know, right now y'all are seeing the, you know, the output of us doing that, man. And then training camp and practice is the pickups before we got training camp, man. So um, everybody's coming in since the beginning, ready to work, looking to get better and looking to change the dynamic, um, not only um, in the locker room and about this team, but about this whole organization, about this city, man. Like I keep telling you all the time, man, it's, this is Washington. We know it's tough to win here. We know it's tough to, you know, have the fans rally behind you and the city just because they've just been through so many tough times, man. But we're trying to change that. Can you talk about that, how you felt playing tonight? Because how, I mean, has it been really something for you? Yeah, great yeah, because I'm from North Carolina. So it's only like three hours from here, man. So I kind of feel like um, I'm kind of in my backyard. Um, you know, this is some down south. Uh, you know, homegrown people that love the, the hard work, the, the grittiness, the toughness, you know, to come in, putting it on your hard hat every day um, and just ready to work, you know, not really coming in, you know, thinking that you're better than something or just, you know, going off your name. Nah, you're coming in ready to work and, you know, they're going to get behind that. Well, you had some pretty good I'm trying to reincarnate the Lou Will, man, Lou Will. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. Um, I tell you all the time, man, Brad is the head of our snake, man. Uh, he's the leader on and off the court, man. He, he's what, you know, makes us go, man. So I just try to keep him involved all the time about on the floor. Whatever shot he feels shooting, I feel like it's a good shot. You know, whatever play he sees or I feel like it's good, I feel like he can't do nothing wrong in my eyes, honestly, because this man's been here for a long time, man. He's been here for 10 plus years, man, and that, that's loyalty. And you want to just continuously to put together, you know, 
great feelings, great vibes, everything about, you know, us coming into the game, knowing him, that let him know that he's the head of our everything, man. And that's, that's all it's about, man. So, you know, every time I'm out on the floor, man, I'm trying to find him. I'm trying to create an answer for him. I'm trying to make sure that he knows, like, we're going to ride with you, bro. Whatever you, good, bad, ugly, man, we're going to ride with you. Simple as that. You guys, uh, this is West Hansel's fifth career game. Hey, is that? <laughs> hey, just talking about you. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. <laughs> this is just the fifth career game for West Hansel as head coach. You guys just beat a really good team without a bunch of players. What has impressed you so far about him? Um, I mean, Coach Hansel is a guy who is looking to continue to, you know, learn, continue. Hey, hey, look who it is. Hey, guys. Hey, hey it's Brad. <laughs> Um, I mean, Coach West is a guy, uh, I mean, he's just like us, man. Uh, every day he's coming in looking to get better as a coach. Um, you know, he takes accountability for he, times where he feel like he's messed up or, you know, something that he didn't, you know, go as far as us to telling us to prepare us for that, man. So Coach is, I mean, he's just like us. He understands that it's going to be a process. Um, it's going to be a long process throughout the whole year because we still have a new team, man. We're still learning. Like I told you, man, we're just trying to put together good and great days behind each other, man, and just continue to keep getting better. That's all we can do. Can I ask you just the same question, Brad? Just like last this is the fifth fifth career game. I mean we're honestly we first person I learned to say for Jesus Christ. Um we still haven't done anything. You know, that's something we always pre we continue to preach and tell ourselves and granted we we understand what reality is and uh but we we still have that mentality that we haven't done anything yet. And granted, coach has been working his tail off. He puts us in good positions. And I think he's very open to dialogue with in between the players. You know, if something's not working, he's very open to us. Okay, well, what's your recommendation? What do you guys want to do? Um, you know, so he's been very he's, – he's a true player's coach. You know, you respect everything he does. Um, you know, and it's, it's tough because we, we're learning on the fly with him just like he is too. So – uh, we're just fortunate, you know, we're putting together some good games. And honestly, our defense has won. Uh, we've been playing like crap on offense, but our defense is what's been winning these games. Brad, you have the upbringing of defense declining, calm down, focus on the defense. Is that, are you open to hearing that? I feel like sometimes maybe the players like, that's not what I do. Well, I'm sure not. I don't know. See, you know what was funny, Trey, is last time I heard a uh, miss is a lady. So I don't know what a miss is. I just told him, bro. I don't care what you should. Y'all look good to me. All right. I don't know what they be talking about, bro. I don't need it. Really no, right. right. What's my position? Shooting guard. Every shot oh. look good, all right? Okay. No. No, uh, no, I, I have to. I can't. Um, hey, man, guard, I can't. He goes down guard the best player, man. You got to think, man. He was matched up on Trey Young. He was matched up on... Cam Reddish, he switches in every, you know, protocol, man. We're going one through four switch to man. So he's going to be guarding the best player, man. But at the same time, we're still going to keep him involved in the offense in the floor, man. We're not having Brad Bill out there to be a defensive stopper. That's not him. It hasn't been him. The guy just came off of scoring 50 all last year, man. So not looking for him to go down there and shut down the best player. You know, we got people that do that. So, you know, as far as Coach saying that, it's more so I think it's just him telling him to stay engaged. That's more so anything. It's not really a... No, hey Brad, you got to go guard this person. You got to stop this person. No, just make sure you stay engaged on it and let them know that you feel me. As all of us should do, our offense don't dictate how we play on defense. Exactly. Simple as that. Thank you. So, Coach, you're seeing the game again tonight. You might get uh, it's a feel, but he's very, he's very intelligent. I mean, we talked about after the game, he's played with a lot of great players, um, a lot of great players. So he's not coming into a blind situation. Uh, you know, he's very big that he knows if he gives me the ball, he'll get it right back. You know, so he kind of figured out the cheat code. I told him I'm trying to get he's trying to figure out. Trying to recreate the wheel thing, bro. I told him. I've watched it. I've watched it. You know, so they they were oh, man. him and Lou when they were in their two man game. You know, they just turned 35 today. Hey, Brad, only like what 28, 29. I'm trying to tell you, we can recreate that. Yeah. <laughs> Scary. But no, it's he's very he has a great feel for it. You know, he sets really good screens. He's a good ball handler, you know, gives the ball to you in your pocket, hits his man. And you know, you either got jump or he's on a roll. You know, and he even tells me if you shoot it. I don't give a damn because I'm right on the rim, you know, to follow it. So he's a good, he's a great teammate to have. I'm happy to have him.
Uh, he continues to work his tail off. He stepped up big tonight for us when we didn't have Gav. He was our rim protector on both I mean, on defensive end and on offense. He gave us another double double. So you know that's all we can ask for. But you know he he's going to critique himself and hold himself to a higher standard, and we then we can push him. So. Don't get used to that. Now nah, I mean that's only I mean, that's that's every blue moon, man. That's every blue moon. It, hey, every blue moon. All I know blue is moon. Like that moon's out the night. Hey, you keep getting fouled and hitting the ground. I don't know. You can get a little. Yeah, I was a little frustrated. I was a little frustrated. Turn that corner with some aggression. Yeah, I turned it tonight. Hey, hey, look nice. Like a time seeing John on that rim on that on us all night. Who was? No, no, no. You know, you know what I mean. <laughs> I know you went under there. I know you went under there. Yeah, we can handle it, baby. Yeah, no sir. No, but uh. Felt good, legs felt good. We, that's a dog. But we got to be better. That's still got to be better. We know that. Brad, I know, I know you can be pretty low key and get along with a lot of people. Brad, do you get along with a lot of people? <laughs> hey. Hey, man. Hey, Trez, get along with everybody, man. That's that false narrative, huh, Trez? Hey, man, we got to clean it up. Is, man. man, I don't know what it is. I get along with everybody. I stay my lane, man, and I play my role. I don't really, you know, go outside there. I don't do too much off the court. I, I told him he stayed in my closet. I told you that, bro. Didn't I tell you that? Hey, man. Look, somebody else done came and said it, bro. I told you stay from upstairs, bro. I he said I was upstairs. rambling through his closet. I'm cool. when I'm asleep, man, all upstairs in my closet. Man. It's crazy. <laughs> cozy, cozy today. <laughs> I got some good narrative, huh? That's that sounds like a rat to me when you get that pause. <laughs> that's it. I think we have, that's all the numbers. Hey, I like that. No, hey, hey. Y'all want me to leave? I can leave. Yeah. You can leave. You're good. Hey, hey. Hey. Bobon and Listen, one. I'm trying we to... need one. <laughs> Dang, that's a hell of a name. See, we got to come up with something, my boy. Too really tough in it. Oh, my mama. Come on. I ain't playing no goldfish, no commercial. You think about this? Sure. <laughs> I don't do your folk, man. You can get it for us, too. Man, let's make it happen. We're going to get it. Monumental, what are we doing? I need a... We, we, we want a podcast. What you want? What you, whatever you want. I think about it. I'll make the chicken. Let's put something together. Let's put, let's put something together. Come on. We see y'all. We, we keep y'all posted. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Yeah. Neil, stay tuned. Yeah. Neil. <laughs> <laughs> I need one coming soon. Yeah.